Hey, hey guys, F -f -f Fire here, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out F -f Froggy, a retro platformer. This is a platformer, go figure, but based on the <laughs> title, it's currently available in the Xbox Store for price starting at f -f five bucks. It's developed by Vergeu. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that too, too bad. And published by EE Stage Soft. It's a, a simplistic platformer that takes place over f 50 different levels and uses some very basic controls. You move around with your a a analog stick, you hit A to jump, and boom, you know the entire control system for the game. Now, this is a platforming game that leaves a lot to want more for with the content and ramp up that it has. It starts off very slow with some very bland and basic levels, but then ramps up into some levels that almost gives you that super meat boy nostalgic style vibe, keeping you wanting more, but then leaving you f f flat on your f face when you hit that 50th level and you really start to get into some d d difficult portions of the game and really have a good time, the game just kind of ends. But it does introduce 50 additional reverse levels where you can play the game basically in re reverse, but it's still missing a lot more and it makes me wish the game went well beyond 50 levels so i can see really what the developers were really working to bring out for the game visually the game looks really good it's a black and white retro style th theme that's it's for frog theme but beyond just being a frog it doesn't have too much to go with it you're gonna have little blobs shooting robots bats spiders and more all trying to stop you as you have your one life to get through at every single level. Now, with that one life, I feel like the game, it does have checkpoints, but it misses the opportunity to ha have a mode where you don't have any checkpoints and you have one life to complete every level, which I think would add just a little bit extra content and would be something to maybe see in a, in a future update if the developers ha happen to hear this and would, you know, want to consider just adding a little essence to the game. Now, they've already added more achievements to the game, so my guess is they're going to add even more. Maybe there's more content coming, so that does leave a little bit of hope for it. For, for a game that comes in at f f five bucks, it's a really easy entry-level platforming game, so it's safe for any little kids, and I think adults would enjoy the short, nostalgic live of playing a retro-inspired platformer where I think one of the best things the game has to offer is just the music and the soundtrack. Now, one thing I just do note during the game while playing, occasionally you'll see like enemies just kind of st stop wanting to function or they'll glitch or get stuck. I don't know if that's by design, but it does seem kind of weird and random. It doesn't happen all, all the time. So it makes me wonder if it's more a bug in the game than the enemies just kind of going for really nilly into doing what they want. But overall, not a bad, bad game to pick up for, for five bucks. Uh, outside of that, let me know what you think of the, my, my review down below in the c c comments. Any part of the game seem interesting to you? Is this one you might consider p p picking up for yourself? Uh, outside of that, I ho hope to see you again soon.